Hi DIYers, Joe here from Alarm Grid, and today we're going to talk about how to connect a wired smoke detector to your GC3 system. Now, the truth is you can't. The GC3 system does have two hardwired zones on the system. Uh, they're zone 6 and zone 7, but those are only going to really be used for security devices. If you decide to do that, you can't connect a smoke detector, a glass break, a motion detector, or a carbon monoxide detector to those hardwired zones right on the system. So you may be asking, what do you do? One of the easiest ways to interface existing hardwired smokes to your GC3 system is to use a device called an FF345. Now what this is, it's a little microphone. If you have the old style, it's going to be in a rectangular case. If you have the new style, it's going to be in a circular case. Um, it's got a little microphone inside of it, and you basically install it next to an existing hardwired smoke detector, and it's going to listen for that three-tone temporal pulse that you'll get when a smoke alarm goes off. With that installed, it's going to program into the system. The system will see it as a 5800 device, a Honeywell 5800 device, even though it's not. And when that triggers and you have it programmed correctly, it will set off a smoke alarm. This is a really convenient device to use as many houses by code in many areas <clears throat> have an existing hardwired loop of smokes in the house that are all set to go off or when, when one of them goes off, they'll all go off. So installing that next to an existing hardwired smoke will work. Also, if you have some just standalone cheapy smokes from Home Depot or Lowe's or something like that, the little battery powered ones, Kitty is a brand that comes to mind. Those also do work with the FF345. Just keep in mind that if you have battery powered standalone smokes, if one of them goes off, they're not all going to go off. So if your basement catches on fire and you're up in your, up in your bedroom and the smoke doesn't reach up there and you don't smell it, with that smoke setup, you won't know until you know. If you do have an FF345 though next to the smoke detector, when that smoke detector goes off, the system will trigger, send a fire alarm, and then you can be safe. Another option you have with the system is to use wireless smokes. Now, the GC3 system is compatible with 2 gig sensors, and it's also compatible with Honeywell 5800 sensors, which gives you quite a few different options. I have some sensors right here. This right here is the SMKT3-345. Now, this is a 2 gig smoke detector, heat detector, and freeze detector. Programs wirelessly right into the system, and it works great. These are easy to install, as all wireless smokes are. You just have to pop off its back base. Right here, it has a little screw holes. Install this on the ceiling, pop this on, turn it on, program it in. You're good to go. Another smoke you can use, this is from the Honeywell line. This is the 5808W3. This is a smoke, a heat and a high or low temp sensor. This program's in the same as the, uh, the SMKT3-345 right into programming. And like the other smokes, it has a base that pops off. You screw it up, put the smoke on it, clip it in, works great. Now, there's a few other options that you have in either line. In the two gig sensors, there's a SMKT2-345. That's just a smoke and heat detector. Um, it's real similar to this one. It may be a little less expensive, and if you aren't looking for the freeze detection that you would get on the SMKT3, it can be a good option. On the Honeywell side of things, you have the 5800CO, which is just a regular old seat, uh, carbon monoxide detector. You have the 5806 heat detector, which is a wireless standalone heat detector. It just detects heat. Heat detectors are best to be used in places where there's gases or things that may cause a false alarm on a smoke detector, such as a kitchen with the kitchen, kitchen smoke, the garage, uh, a furnace room, or a bathroom. Those places are best to use a heat detector if you want to protect them from fire. So the 5806 is the uh, wireless heat detector that works great. One of the most popular uh, products that we have on the 5800 line though for smoke detection is the 5800 combo. That's the actual name of the product. You punch it in and search for it. That has heat, fire, and CO, and it also has voice enunciation, uh, easy to use test buttons, and it's a great device to use. Check it out on the website. If you do have any questions about connecting wired or wireless smokes to the GC3 system, feel free to give us a call, 888-818-7728. Number again is 888-818-7728. You can also reach us on the website at support at alarmgrid.com. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, feel free to subscribe or hit the notification button to be updated when we post future ones, and have a great day.